Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's start lecture 25. So today we will uh, finish our discussion on Bobet diagram and then we will get to the kinetics of corrosion. In the last lecture we ended with the uh, schematic phase diagram for aluminum. We have given all the reactions as well as standard chemical potential for all the species active uh, in, the, in those reactions. And from that you need to calculate that phase diagram, but the uh, schematic will be the like what we have shown in the previous uh, lecture. The schematic phase diagram for aluminum would be this one where this is L plus 3, this is L, L2O3 and then this becomes LO2 minus and this is potential axis, pH axis. Now, if we recall a Pobe diagram for nickel, diagram was like this, this is pH E volt, this is also schematic, where this region was nickel, this is nickel plus plus and here either nickel oxide or NiOH hold to that time we indicated this region to be immune zone. This region was passive and this region was corrosion. Since nickel ion is forming and whenever ion forms nickel dissolves that is what we are talking about the corrosion region. Now, here nickel remains as nickel and that is what this zone uh, is immune zone and then we have a passive zone considering the fact that these products are forming on top of nickel surface and they are actually giving a protective nature for further corrosion of nickel and the nickel corrosion is still there, but the, the amount of corrosion is less because the amount of corrosion of nickel would be decided by the solubility product of these two products. We call it as passive zone because the corrosion of nickel is limited because of the formation of this passive layer on top of the, of the nickel. But similar comparison can be drawn in case of aluminum. Only at one place we will have little difference. Now, aluminum this zone is aluminum. So, definitely this is immune zone. This is Al plus 3. So, this is corrosion zone and of course, here we are forming Al2O3 that is what this is passive zone, where aluminum oxide forms on, on top of aluminum and then it actually gives protection to the aluminum for, for, uh, and aluminum corrosion is limited. Now, there is one more phase or one, may, one more stability zone which is decided by this particular phase which is ALO2 minus. So, this is a complex aluminum ion which is in the form of ALO2 minus. So, this dissolves easily in water. So, when it dissolves that means it is also taking away aluminum from the aluminum substrate. So, in fact it is corrosion it is corroding this aluminum is corroding in the form of ALO2 minus. So, this is also a corrosion zone. Now, the only interesting fact is in case of nickel system if you increase the pH that means, if you increase the basicity of the aqueous medium we get to achieve passivity, but in case of aluminum system of course, if you increase the pH level or basicity you for example, you are here 
or you are if you are here let us say this zone and now if we increase the pH level you reach to this zone. So, you are going to get passivity, but if you increase the pH farther once it come to this zone you are going to achieve no passivity rather corrosion will again start. So, that is what this pore bay diagram it is, is actually giving an idea that what could be the stability of the reaction products and what could be the spontaneity of corrosion. So, here corrosion is spontaneous in this zone corrosion is limited in this zone again the corrosion becomes spontaneous and if we are here let us say then of course, uh, the corrosion becomes very 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 limited because it is actually remaining as aluminum immune zone. Now, this information is very critical for example, in case of aluminum, aluminum we know that it is a very passive metal because in aqueous system it gets to the passivity. Now, if we increase pH level the passivity will be broken and then it will form ALO2 minus ion if we increase pH level to certain extent and if we reach to the stability zone of ALO2 minus the corrosion will further start. This similar situation arises in case of iron and we need to talk about iron because iron constitutes almost about 80 percent of our uh, structural uh, bodies rather. So, now we talk about iron pobe diagram little bit here also we will give some equations and uh, uh, those equations if you follow if you see uh, the book by pobe uh, there is a famous book on pobe diagram I will give the data later on by T S will give you the data for those chemical potentials as well as chemical potential of the all the of all the species which are taking part in different reactions in order to understand the stability zone of different phases in the iron H 2 O system uh, and you can construct that iron uh, Pobe diagram. So, let us talk about Pobe diagram of iron. Now, here also we can have several such reactions. Uh, uh, reactions patterns are let by let us keep uh, in keep seeing that reactions. This is one reaction second a phi third fourth. So, I am just writing down all the possible reaction uh, that could take place when iron is uh, exposed to aqueous medium. plus plus I am just writing down all the reactions So, let us uh, uh, get to these equations there are such equations available and another equation which is H FeO 2 minus uh, plus H 2 equal to. So, these are the uh, reactions I have noted there are other reactions possible for example, one important phase in case of iron uh, 
system, this could be available in the form of alpha uh, or in the form of gamma, in the form of uh, beta. So, these three uh, allotropes are possible for this particular phase and uh, uh, these phases are important in the sense that they give uh, different levels of passivity uh, of iron surface. Now, if I try to see the schematic uh, uh, diagram for iron system, uh, let us get to the, the schematic diagram would look like. So, this is the diagram what it looks like where if this is Fe, Fe Fe plus 2, this is Fe plus 3, Fe OH hole 2 and this region is Fe OH, this is Fe OH hole 3, hole 2 and this is H Fe O 2 minus. Now, uh, here also this phase and this phase they are insoluble phase with a very low solubility product. Rather, this is very, very, uh, this has very, very low solubility product. Now, when they form, uh, they try to form a, on iron surface and they try to passive it. But here, this is remaining as iron. So, this region is definitely immune zone. This is Fe plus 2. So, this is corrosion. This is also Fe plus 3, so this is also corrosion. That means, whenever we have iron, iron formation in the stability this diagram, this uh, Pobe diagram, we have to say that that uh, metal ion is forming, so corrosion is taking place. This is passive, this is also passive zone. Now, interestingly, just like in case of aluminum, we have one complex iron ion. A which is H F E O 2 minus, this also dissolves in water easily. So, again this zone definitely will be corrosion zone. And then if I try to indicate with uh, schematic for example, here also I can uh, note down those reactions. For example, this is uh, if I note down with a different color, red color let us say, this is reaction 1. I simply write with the bracket 1, uh, this is uh, reaction 2, this is uh, uh, this line is FeOH hole 2. So, this is 3 this is 3, uh, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, this one is 7, this one is 8, this reaction, this reaction is 9, and this one we can write it as 10. So, if you go back and see all those reactions, if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to 10, uh, we have indicated those. For example, this line, if I see that this line is basically uh, pH independent, this is also pH independent, this is potential independent, pH dependent, this is also pH dependent this line, this line and this three lines are all uh, pH as well as potential dependent and of course, this one also uh, pH independent. And if we see those reactions definitely, uh, I can simply write in this fashion uh, function of E, function of E, I can write uh, function of E and pH, this is also function of E on 
p h this is function of p h function of e and p h this is function of p h because here no electron is involved if you follow the Bobet diagram for nickel you can easily understand this is function of E and P H. This is uh, definitely a function of P H. This is function of potential. So, it is very clear that this will be parallel to um, uh, x axis, this will be vertical to x axis, this would be uh, at an angle to the x axis this will be vertical uh, parallel to x axis parallel to x axis this is at an angle to x axis that means ph axis this is at an angle to ph axis this is perpendicular to potential axis this is at an angle to ph axis this is also uh, this is uh, perpendicular to ph axis or parallel to pH E axis potential axis. So, we are very clear and that is what our uh, diagrams also conforming to that. Now, here also we are seeing that there is an immune zone, there are two corrosion zones, there are the three corrosion zones 1, 2, 3, 3 corrosion zones and this is passive zone, this is also passive zone. Now, if I try to see schematically how it looks, it will look like this. Okay, so, both the zones are uh, this zone and this zone, both the zones are corrosion and then now here we have this one and then this is passive, this is corrosion, immune and corrosion. So, this is a, a typical diagram, some book you might looks like this type, this type where this is passive, this is corrosion, this is uh, immune and this is of course, corrosion. Now, uh, these two lines, these two lines merge together depending on uh, the phases what we are, co we are considering. So, this is about uh, um, Pobe diagram uh, for iron schematic drawing, then aluminum we have also given the reactions as well as uh, chemical potential data in case of iron we have just given reactions chemical potential will be provided to you and then in case of nickel we have the complete formation of uh, Pobe diagram. Now, here one thing is you have to do that is uh, we have to also indicate uh, um, uh, your water reactions water uh, this is hydrogen reaction and this is let us say uh, oxygen reaction lines. So, then it becomes complete. At the end we would like to see the uh, advantages and disadvantages of the limitations of Pobe diagram. So, we have done uh, a quite a detailed analysis on Pobe diagram. So, first see what are the advantages. The advantages first thing it indicates without going for a detailed calculation it indicates the stability region of different phases forms different phases formed when a metal is exposed to 
H2O with with or without oxygen and different pH level. So, that is what we are saying that we are finding corrosion zone, we are finding immune zone, passive zone and corrosion zone for the on the right side of uh, on the on the higher pH side. This is one important information we do get uh, once we do this thermodynamic calculations and find out this diagram. Second part it somehow predicts spontaneity spontaneous uh, phase formation as a function of E and pH. Definitely it can predict. For example, if I am here it will be iron, if I am here it will be Fe plus here it will be FeOH whole 3. Like that way we can decide what could be the spontaneous phase when a metal is exposed to the water system. Now, uh, third point if I see the third point indicates that it allows us to find out whether a system would passivate or not or corrode that that information we will definitely get, we definitely get. Now, interestingly in order to do that we need to just uh, see the uh, iron uh, see in case of iron and aluminum system. If I see the uh, aluminum Pobe diagram, this is aluminum Pobe diagram. If we see that uh, when the pH level is when the pH level is 8.6, this is uh, uh, if I do see the cursor, so this 8.6 beyond that we do get a low to minus and then it would corrode. But when the pH is between 3.9 to 8.6 and if the potential is within this region Al2O3 region, we do get uh, passivity. But in case of iron situation is different. So, this is iron Pobe diagram what we have shown in the uh, schematic this is the exactly the same and here if you see that this particular zone this uh, uh, FeOH hole 2 as well as FeOH hole 3 these zones we do get passivity and if you see the pH level pH level varies from 9 to almost about 13. So, generally uh, in case of rebar we uh, maintain atmosphere. So, pH is maintained at around 12.5 to uh, uh, around close to 12 and 12.5. So, at that high pH uh, the iron passivates within in that in that concrete system a river uh, when the river is placed in a concrete medium. So, if it passivates dissolution becomes uh, very limited uh, very limited in when we have this 12.5, but the 12.5 is not suitable for aluminum because when we go for 12.5 uh, we might uh, get to the corrosion zone which is ALO2 minus. So, this information definitely we can gather from Pobe diagram. If I uh, get to another important information for example, when we have a metal mixtures uh, for example, let us say a particular system particular potential and pH level uh, we need to see that which metal would corrode and which metal would not corrode that information can also be obtained. Uh, uh, Let us see uh, one such example. Uh, if I try to see this diagram. So, this diagram is a Pobe diagram for aluminum and uh, this diagram is uh, uh, for silver and zinc system separately they are drawn and if I try to see the um, two potential values and pH value this is one and this is this is one point and this is another point. Okay. So, now if I I am here, if I am here that time uh, silver is in immune zone because it is maintained in the AGS which is solid silver. That means, the potential and very low pH that means, very acidic medium that means, uh, this is 2 normal HCl. 
So, the silver would not like to come out as in the form of ions in the, uh, in the aqueous medium, which is of course, very acidic. But if I try to push the pH to 12 and the potential if we try to get it here, there also I could see that silver is maintaining immunity. But when I look at the silver the zinc system, when I am looking at the pH and potential of this particular section which is this one here in case of zinc system, it is in the zinc plus plus which is uh, corrosion job. So, if we maintain the pH and potential at this point, silver would not corrode, but zinc would definitely corrode. But when I go to this point where silver is not corroding as well as it is maintaining immunity, but when I look at uh, this point in case of zinc Pobe diagram, it is in the zinc oxide uh, region. So, if it is in zinc oxide region, then it of course, it would like to passive it. So, this information we would definitely get uh, if we try to uh, um, uh, carefully analyze our Pobe diagrams. Now, these are some of the advantages, what are the information what we get, but there are many things uh, what we do not get from uh, Pobe diagram. Now, what are the limitations? The, if I try to see the limitation, a first limitation is this is definitely a thermodynamic plot. So, you need to have only pot a chemical potential. Okay. So, whenever uh, a thermodynamic plot is given, it cannot give you any information about rate of reaction. So, now we will not be able to tell uh, what could be the corrosion rate if I am in the corrosion zone. So, the corrosion zone can tell me okay, yes there will be corrosion, but we will not be able to tell what is the rate at which the corrosion is taking place. And many a times the rate becomes crucial even if there is a spontaneity. So, uh, uh, we have spontaneity because it is in the corrosion zone, but the rate may be very slow. So, we might say that the corrosion is very, very low. Now, second part, so we do not have any information on uh, kinetics of corrosion. And second part, if I uh, try to look at, uh, so if I look at the uh, passivity region. So, whenever we are looking at the passivity zone, so we are saying that uh, we are assuming that that particular phase would form on top of it. So, uh, but it is not guaranteed. Why it is not guaranteed? Because sometimes those phases may not form on the surface of the metal. Rather, they might they might be very loose. They might contain a lot of porosities, and they would not give much of protection. So that time it may not be the actual passivation, though the Pobe diagram predicts that it is passivation. So, uh, actual passivation cannot be told. Third part is for example, this is only for metal pure metal system, we are not looking at the alloy system. So, in case of alloy system, uh, predicting the phases and predicting what core sort of uh, regions we will choose would be difficult. So, this is not applicable to alloy system. Now, fourth, now uh, another point what we can indicate is uh, what is not possible from Pobe diagram is uh, uh, other conditions like velocity of the velocity of the turbulence of the medium, turb velocity or turbulence of water. Then uh, if there are other uh, uh, effects like uh, dirts, foreign material, those informations cannot be uh, obtained from
from Pobe diagram. So, that means it is very clear that though Pobe diagram gives a lot of information about the possibilities, but it cannot give us any information about the actual happening. So, in order to know the actual happening, we need to understand the kinetics of corrosion. So, now we end our Pobe diagram, now we would skip to kinetics of corrosion from the next lecture onwards. Let me stop here, thank you very much. <laughs>